Hello, I'm Penley the Penguin, and I'm here to talk to you about emperor penguins and about categories of geometric shapes. You probably know that emperor penguins live in Antarctica, but how do we survive the intense cold and winds? The cold is routinely below zero, sometimes 40 or more degrees below zero, and the winds blow up to 100 miles per hour. So how do we survive? Well, we have the highest feather density of any bird in the world. In one square inch of our outside of our body, we have a hundred feathers. A hundred feathers per square inch. So that keeps us very warm. They're packed tightly and they keep us warm. Now, we're going to talk about categories of geometric shapes. Our main category would be quadrilaterals. And quadrilaterals are any figure that has four sides, a closed figure with four sides. And underneath that, we're going to have two subcategories that are still quadrilaterals parallelograms and non parallelograms. So, parallelograms, I'm going to give you three examples or three subcategories under the category parallelogram. There's things called rhombuses. A rhombus has four equal sides. Opposite sides are parallel. A square has four equal sides. Opposite sides are parallel. Additionally, they each angle is 90 degrees in a square. A square is a specific kind of a rhombus. A rectangle has opposite sides which are equal and all nine and four 90 degree angles. A square is a type of rectangle. Some rectangles are squares but not all of them. Some have unequal sides but the opposite, side, opposite sides are equal. Another subcategory of quadrilaterals are non-parallelograms or non-parallel quadrilaterals. A trapezoid is an example. A trapezoid can have opposite sides, one pair of opposite sides that are parallel, but the other pair are not parallel and they do not have to be equal in length. None of the sides have to be equal in length. And then just a plain non-parallel quadrilateral where none of the sides are parallel and none of them are equal in length. So you can see there are subcategories, non-parallel quadrilaterals and parallelograms, that both have one thing in common. They are both quadrilaterals, four-sided figures. I hope this cleared up some things for you.